Hey everyone, welcome back to the Edgewater Avenue YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Katie Fredrickson and this is Edgewater Avenue. And this channel is all about sewing swimwear, whether you're a complete beginner or you have some experience. In today's video, we're going to be making the Becky top. This style has been popular all over the internet and one of the members of the Facebook group named Becky, she made a pattern for the group and after that it just took off. So I spoke with Becky and we're going to be making it official. And I do want to mention that this pattern is adapted from her original pattern. However, there are some changes to make it consistent with Edgewater sizing and just some tweaks. The construction is also different, so I'm excited to show you the tricks that I found. And last but not least, this is a free pattern. So if you wanna go download it, the link is in the description. Four materials you will need, swimwear fabric, swimwear elastic, a loop turner, a seam ripper, a cutting tool like scissors or a rotary cutter, and a special material for this, I'm using cord ends, which I will explain why at the end of this tutorial. Now these aren't required, but I do have a really good reason to use them. And you're also going to need a regular sewing machine because this tutorial requires that you be able to do a straight stitch. I'm gonna be using my serger as well, but if you don't have a serger, you can use a zigzag stitch on a regular sewing machine instead. And if you want to get any of the things on this list, there will be links in the description. So the last material that you'll need, of course, is the pattern for the Becky top. Go download that below. So as with many sewing tutorials, the first step is going to be cutting our fabric. You'll want to cut two in the left bust piece and two in the right. To save paper, I just printed out one piece and I'm flipping it to account for both sides. You're also going to need to cut all your straps and there are exact measurements included inside the pattern. Before we start matching things up, I'm gonna show you a little trick to prevent the raw edges from peeking out later on. This is optional, so skip ahead if you want to. So on the innermost corner of each bust piece, flip the allowance so it's wrong sides together. And then you're gonna do a little straight stitch to keep the raw edges in place. Now that we have all of our pieces, it's time to put this thing together. So take each of your bust pieces and match them with right sides together. Sew along the following areas. I will not be attaching elastic because most of this top is strap channels. If you want, you can attach elastic to the sides of each bust piece, but this time I'm just gonna be skipping it. You're also going to fold each of your straps in half lengthwise and then attach your elastic onto them. If you're new here or if you're just unfamiliar with what kind of elastic or how to sew it, I made a series all about elastic that I will link. Those videos will answer all of your elastic questions. Now that everything is sewn, we're going to take our loop turner and turn each of the straps to the right side. The next step is going to be making our strap channels. With both bust pieces still inside out, mark where you want your strap channels to go. Here's where I marked mine. What I like to do is go over those marks with a small straight stitch so that the stitching under doesn't come unraveled. Now we can take our seam ripper and rip open each of these channels. Now we're going to use the inner corners opening to take each of the bust pieces to the right side. Take the pieces over to the sewing machine and then select a straight stitch. Stitch a line about a quarter inch away from the edge on both the top and the bottom of each bust piece. This is going to create the two strap channels. Now here's where things get interesting. We're going to begin threading the straps through each of the channels. First, take your shoulder straps and your loop turner. Using the loop turner, thread each of the straps through each of the bust pieces. But instead of bringing the strap all the way through, you're going to bring it to the edge and then pin it down. Using a straight stitch, you're gonna sew that strap down in place. So the shoulder straps will not be coming all the way through and you'll see why that's better design-wise here in a second. Now you can get your band strap and again, you're gonna thread it through, but this time you're gonna have it all the way through that bottom opening. When you bring your band straps all the way through, tie them together in the center of the two bust pieces. Now the reason we didn't bring our shoulder straps all the way through is because at this step there would be four separate straps 
and you'd have to tie those four straps into a bow, which can start to get bulky and chunky and just not look as good as having just two. And you'll still be able to adjust the scrunch of both the top and bottom lines. The last thing we need to do is attach the shoulder straps. Now here is where the cord ends come into the picture. So you could attach the straps by folding them and then sewing them down with a straight stitch. And that option is totally fine. If you prefer that, go for it. However, up to this point, this top is completely reversible and stitching like that would make it technically not reversible. So instead, I'm going to tie the straps. And since that can sometimes look sloppy, I'm going to be using the cord ends to make it look professional. To put these on, get your loop turner out again. Bring it through the cord end, hook it onto the edge of the strap, and then pull the strap through. Take the strap and tie it in a very tight knot. Then trim the excess and bring your cord end down over the knot. And now you can see how much better that looks than just a raw strap. So now I'm gonna tie my shoulder straps in place and that completes the Becky top. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to grab the free pattern for the Becky top, which is linked in the description. If you liked this video and you wanna see some more swimwear sewing content, please subscribe. And if you're not already, go follow Edgewater Avenue on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. And make sure to join our Facebook group where there are 4,000 members at the moment. And in that group, we talk about project advice, we give, you know, tension help, all sorts of things. So definitely check that out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.